Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, we got a little busy on some other projects, so it's been a little bit of time, but uh, we're gonna dig into the swivel down feed and the vise, uh, tear them down, inspect them, see what they need. So uh, let's uh, go look at it and get started. Let's get this uh, tool holder out of here. So this is a genuine Atlas which is, uh, I'm glad it came with that. Um, these are not easy to find. So we got that. Let's get the uh, lantern out of here. Okay, and the washer, okay. The, the clapper's nice and free. Um, I'll bring it around to the other side in a second. Okay, this is the lock screw for the clapper, and, and it's not acceptable. <laughs> so, I need to replace that. And I'm going to have to try to figure out what the originals look like. If anybody's got a suggestion of what's supposed to be in there, let me know in the comments. Um, I would think, you know, some type of square head would be more appropriate. Um, I'll see if I could find a picture of one somewhere to figure out what we need to make, but uh, yeah, that's not going to stay. Okay. All right, so off camera, I had to break this loose. Um, I think this, they call this the swivel. Um, I had to get some oil back in there, and there's a, there's a large center um, screw here, um, but it was the oil was, was dried out and it was stuck. <laughs> So let's get this off of here. I thought I was going to need the impact. I'm just using it as a screwdriver. Yeah, there's the screw. Okay, and let's get this off. Okay. Next is the down. Just a couple of... <clears throat> three eighths bolts either side here. I already broke them loose off camera. Okay. All right. So there's a register, and I'm curious about this vice. It looks. Looks like it's shop made, but this part of it doesn't look shop made. Because it's got, it looks like it's a, a casting. So it may have been a different type of vise that was modified to fit this. I've been looking for an original vise, but uh, they're few and far between and overpriced when you do find them. Okay, let's see. All right, so that's just sitting on there. Some T nuts down in the bottom. Okay. I'm going to start by backing off on all these Gibbs screws. Good. And I think I'll grab my oil. I'll just get a little oil down in here. Okay. I'm assuming that this will just unscrew right off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we needed the oil, but what the heck, right? Okay. All right. So there's the nut. Can hold it, tap it. Same time. Oh yeah, here she comes. Okay. That's kind of might be a little worse for wear. Yeah, those are gouges. All right, well, we're going to have to address that. All right, 
so it looks like there's just a shoulder on the screw. Okay, so so far we've got some damage on our gib. We do have some wear. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get that cleaned up good and look at it. It might be okay. But I think this nut's got quite a bit of wear in it. That's a fairly easy one to reproduce, except for having to buy the tap. And let's see our ways, our V ways here. That doesn't look too bad. A little bit of light scoring there, not bad. We've got a chunk missing here. That might have just been a, a void in the casting. Okay, no major gouges or anything there. All right, so that's good. All right, let me move this down and then uh, we'll take a look at this vise. Before we get to the vise, so I did look in the uh, parts breakdown. I wanted to see what kind of screw is supposed to go here. Well, they don't have a screw here, okay? So this must have been added. So a shop modification. So, and that's fine. I mean, it's a good idea to have a lock. Uh, the, uh, they did a good job. It looks like it, uh, it's engaging this, uh, this little recess, no problem. Um, but I'm still going to look for a different screw. That screw is not appropriate. So, just to update on that. Alright, so this vise... Got some counter sunk cap heads back here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a punch mark here for the screw end, just to be on the safe side. All right, so off camera, I just uh, got my letter punch and put an S. On this end, so I know that's the screw end. Okay, so looking at this vise, so okay, so these are the hold down plates for the moving jaw. The um, the feed nut is a is a it's a cast nut. So I'm pretty sure this started out as some type of a of a commercially made vise, and then it's been modified. Let's take these guys off. Okay, no, no shims in there. Okay. Okay, no shims on that side. All right, this is weird. So. These are 20 millimeter wrench size. I got a 20 millimeter socket, but uh, I'm not sure if they even make a 20 millimeter end wrench. So we're just gonna use this thin crescent wrench and hopefully we can uh, break it loose here. Oh, yeah, no problem. That's a little snug. Some dried oil. I think it's just dried oil. Okay, I see a maker's mark on here. South Bend. So that's a South Bend vice. That's interesting. So I'm gonna have to do a little research to figure out. So if this is a South Bend, is it a South Bend shaper vice or milling vice? What the heck is it? There we go. I mean, it seems in good shape, it just needs to clean up. Okay, oh, by the way, the, uh, <laughs> the handle is pressed in, it came right out, so we'll have to address that. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
That was uneventful. Alright, so we got, I see there's a keyway in there. Okay, so anyways, this came off of there, no problem. I gotta get that uh, Woodruff key out of there first. Let me get a little punch. The idea is to kind of rock it, get it moving. There we go. And of course it hits the ground and goes under the bench. Okay, we got it. Let me take care of that burr. Okay, we took care of that burr and we got this loosened up. So the nut and the, uh, and the scale here are coming together. I think it's an assembly. And this is frozen. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to turn. I'm going to try to hold this in the soft jaws and just try to punch that out. Okay, let me go do that. Yeah, so no problem. So I just used uh, our same aluminum punch and was able to just punch that out. It wasn't that bad. Just just dried out oil or whatever grease you yeah. yeah okay that'll be good all right I'm gonna do some parts cleaning and then uh, evaluate our screw so so far it's looking okay it's just the I'm pretty sure it's just this nut is uh, has all the wear and uh, I'll have to see if these are available or if we're going to have to make one. Vice, down feed, and clapper box parts. So I threw these in the crock pot for about, uh, oh, maybe five hours with some purple power solution. Still amazed how well this works. I mean, it took every bit of paint off, every bit of grease and grime. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do, it doesn't take rust off, but... Uh, Man, other than that, the parts look just like they came off the factory floor. I put a little bit of um, just some light machine oil, spray oil, just so we wouldn't get any flash rust. But, uh, man, they really cleaned up nice. Um, I do need to uh, do a little scotch bright work on a few of these parts. No sense in getting them too polished because, you know, they're, they're just going to tarnish as we use it. And I got to do a little bit of paint work before we uh, do any reassembly.